So guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about face motion capture with Quickmagic AI. I'm also going to be retargeting the result to human generator character on Blender. Also, for you to be able to do this face motion capture, you must have subscribed to their starter plan, which is quite affordable. And you can also capture five videos at the same time. So this is the plan you can do to be able to do this face motion capture before we proceed. So let's continue. So this is my account. Also, if you want to learn um, body motion capture, I have previous videos that I've uploaded on body motion capture with Quick Magic AI too. So let's click on um, AI mocap. Yes. Then you can just make a video of your face making some gesture you get and then upload it to Quick Magic AI. And that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to click on import a video file. Then I'm going to go to Telegram. Then I'm going to see, yeah, this is my face. Oh, I think I have another one. Okay, let me use this. Yeah, this is my face. Yeah, transcoding. Yeah, I use an iPhone to shoot that video. So the um the format is not compatible, but then Quick Magic AI will fix that issue when I click on transcoding. So Quick Magic AI has finished transcoding the video. So the next thing I'll do is to select this only face and drag it into this video. So like I said, you need to subscribe to Quick Magic Plan for you to be able to do this or to have access to this um, only face. There are other options there. So, but then let's focus on this only face. I'm going to drag this and put this here. You can see only face. So it's going to track my face. And the next thing I'll do is to select uh, next. Yes, I can see face. You get you can't select all this only face. Can you see the mode? This model does not support this feature. So and this is 18 um V coin. I don't know how long the video is. I think it should be like uh, I don't know, but it's not up to 20 seconds. So and this is the title, and I'm going to select generate now. So now we have to wait for this um video to convert into FBX. So as you can see, I'll be using Quick Magic for a while. So I also encourage you to subscribe to quick magic plan the link is also going to be in the description box for you to access this website so our motion capture is done so uh next thing i'll do is you just click on this i can click on this or i can just download from here but let's look at the result okay so this is it on quick magic here and when i click on this play button you can see this so um my eyes okay yeah my eyes are not open properly but that's because of the lightning you get because of the shadows around my eyes so it's not making it obvious for the ai to detect that but this is okay because this is just for the tutorial so the next thing i'll do is just to click on download by the edge here so I'm, i've clicked on download okay so let's go to blender because i've downloaded the file so this is the human generator character so i'm just going to skip all this process we need to go to expression so that I can bring out the face rig of the character. Uh, okay. Coming. Mm, face rig. So we're going to add face rig. So now we have our face rig. So let me just create another collection. Let me just use this collection so that I can import um, the FBX file here of the face. So I'm going to go to file. I'm going to go to import. I'm going to go to FBX. I'm going to go to my download and let's reload this. So we have this. Okay, let me see. Is it based on dates? Let me see. Modify date. Yes. I'm going to use this. I'm going to select import FBX. So we have this. So the next thing I'll do is to move this face mockup to the side. G X. So G X. So now I want to focus on this uh, character. So what we're going to do next is to select prepare AR kit and select OK. Do it yet? So um, I'm going to select this and I'm going to copy the keyframe here. Let me just drag this timeline up a bit. I'm going to. It's, I think it's more than five hundred two fifty. Sorry. So let me just set it to 490. I think that's something close to the. Oh, it's not that. Oops. So let's select 515. 515. And I'm going to copy this. Control C. That's from the mesh. And I'm going to select the man gen mesh. And I'm going to go to the start. I'm going to paste it here. 
you see so let me just turn off this um mesh this mocap mesh so i'm going to turn it off here so let's focus on our character so this is the result of the face motion capture from quick magic ai to human gen character so in my next tutorial i'll be explaining more about um quick magic face motion capture to dust 3d so thank you for watching this tutorial and don't forget to click on the subscribe button